So my name is Linda Rustemeyer. I'm an e-learning expert at uh, Goethe Universität, especially at the uh, e-learning de de uh, department Studium Digitale. Um, I worked there since 2016. Um, I research in the field of serious games, game design, qualification of supplemental instructors, and uh, digital accessibility in a project called Hessen Hub, which um, combines 13 um, Hess univer Hessian universities. Um, bringing the dig digitalization to um, HES. Um, and yeah, we joined the project in 2019. Um, also, um, I am um, currently um, uh, having, yeah, I'm doing the research together in a team with uh, my professor, Dr. Um, Detlef Kremka and uh, Maria Ahmed uh, and Eike Henrich are my students in this um, very current, uh, current stage. So, I would like to start with probably heard you heard about it. Um, who of you knows Scrum? Please uh, raise your hand. Who worked with Scrum? Please raise your hand again. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, only a few of you maybe know Scrum or worked in Scrum, with Scrum, sorry. Um, and I would like to start with a quote by a German um, economic um, magazine called Wirtschaftswoche. It's from 2017 and it's uh, saying, um, the more agile a company is overall, the greater its econ economic success. Accordingly, the most agile companies in an industry are, over, uh, are on average 2.7 times more successful than their competitors with rigid uh, structures. So it's very important to work agile if you want to be successful. In the, um, in the economic world. Um, what is Scrum? A Scrum is a light white framework that helps people, teams and organizations generate value through adaptive solutions to complex problems. The Scrum framework is purposely imperfect because various processes, techniques and methods can be employed with the framework. This is not my quote, this is a quote of, you probably know them, Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland from 2020 from the Scrum Guide, from the new release of the Scrum Guide. And um, as you can, uh, uh, the, the right uh, side of the slide is showing uh, which agile methodology uh, do you follow most uh, closely at uh, team level in companies. It's from the um, uh, 15 state of agile report from uh, 2021. And it says that 66% of the companies use Scrum. So it's the most popular. Uh, uh, project management use in companies. Why is this important? Because we are living in a work of new work and working agile, a lot of uh, people um, do already, and we have therefore changing demands on, a fut uh, on future participants in the labor market, it's called new work. A uh, definition of new work um, after Hoffmann uh, et al. from 2019 is a saying because for a lot of people are asking, new work, what is this? It's networking of people, flexibilization of work and locations, time and content, agile, self-organized, iterative, and highly customer-orientated working principles. Um, withdrawal from hierarchy to a coaching, lateral, um, and supportive understanding of leadership which is very familiar to us, uh, I think, um, after the uh, pandemic. I think more and more um, getting um, a different working situation for us, especially if you think about the four-day week, which is maybe coming, maybe not. It's a huge debate. Uh, but um, Carsten Morris, a professor of computer science, um, he is uh, part of a debate in Germany. Um, it was a uh, held at the University Future Festival of the Hochschulforum Digitalisierung. May some may some know of it. It's from um, uh, yeah. So his uh, blog article is from 2022, and he says that universities aren't ready for this dialogue a little bit because he says, but how do these requirements fit in the university practices often encountered? Does traditional knowledge transfer in the form of lecture support um, uh, the comp comp uh, competency? <laughs> we had this already yesterday. The problem of this word, sorry. <laughs> uh, mentioned in the examples above. And he says, um, probably not. 
so the universities have to get ready for it. And um, yeah, we are working on that. So his solution is an inverted classroom. I have another idea. So there is, or there is, there are a lot of challenges. Uh, I picked you four. So it's about new work, universities, companies, and games. Um, the details are following now. Um, the agenda of new work and more diverse teams who work together is a complex process. You probably know <laughs> if you are not working alone. Um, university teaching is to, be, is to be said too theoretically, um, and they have only little resources for uh, practice. And you also have different knowledge and responsibilities between students. Some are already gaining experience in jobs, some are newly to this um, subject of Scrum, for example. Um, companies need a lot of training, um, time for new employees, you probably know by onboarding. Um, new employees need experience and learning time to achieve and have good working results. We all know this. <laughs> There's a little digital simulation for Scrum. Of course there is, but a little. And um, not so much in the university where I work, for example, but also in, uh, in also, um, very little other conditions or um, areas. So um, you have to learn Scrum at an early point, or it's good for you if you want to have um, as quick as possible, um, good results, working results. Um, you probably know a very good example of a simulation which works very good. It's the flight simulator for pilots. If you want to learn um, flying, you should probably have a good training for it before you fly, um, um, uh, um, before you fly a, a, a plane. Thank you. <laughs> so um, I think Games and representation in games must be inclusive, as my um, um, as the uh, the, uh, uh, the Cecilia uh, told us before, um, and um, they must be accessible for um, or diverse for all for everybody, uh, which is not often the case. And making um, a game or a software accessible backwards is way much more work and difficult as to plan it right from the start. So my process of getting to know Scrum was um, we are working in a very um, interesting um, yeah, um, team um, together with an impaired person. And in this um, uh, first ever contact with Scrum via our, our authoring system Lernbar, which um, allows to, uh, which is free for universities, state universities and schools. You can get uh, it at our place. Um, and we try to make it accessible for everybody. And the process of making an authoring tool digital accessible was very uh, intense because we had to make it back backwards in, uh, instead of this uh, from the start. And we did it together with the, uh, um, uh, with the um, blind person. We had uh, mixed teams where we were informatics and um, people from the humanities, um, like I am. Um, and uh, we are we're getting to know the process of Scrum by doing it. So we were really having a hard time identifying uh, challenges and um, writing user stories. Um, uh, yeah, and we were giving it to the, uh, to the sprint team um, who developed the further um, actions. The result was it was better for everybody and we got to know this process by the navigation. So the navigation changed for everybody's uh, yeah, pleasure that it was more easy to find afterwards, so the position of the navigation. We also have a publication um, for, of the results for it. Um, so, on uh, the other hand, we're doing uh, an uh, analog blending uh, learning seminars, uh, seminar for, with the principles of IT project management. It's a block seminar with one credit point, with, together with my professor, Dr. Detlef Kremka, and the focus is of the classic traditional project management methods and the agile approach, Scrum. Uh, we only um, present an, inter uh, an overview about other um, project management methods and um, the course is practice oriented with the help of a business game. And we have uh, add the, uh, the um, uh, or include the diversity and accessibility aspects. In preparation, we have a learn management system, it's called Moodle, and we're also working with Microsoft Office um, with analog methods. So we play with them by cards. 
Um, after a, a primary kickoff, it's followed by two dates for um, each for two groups with the business game. Um, the mandatory reading is the Scrum Guide and the Agile Manifesto. Um, findings. We have three groups already, and um, via game-based learning, students understand the principle of Scrum. Um, I will start with the negative comments, because then you remember the positive comments, probably. <laughs> so um, some comments where, yeah, uh, maybe more prep uh, preparation time would be um, uh, very helpful to get in the roles faster. Um, we uh, should um, yeah, write uh, stricter, or we should um, stick to a stricter schedule um, and have more appointments. We should write more user stories. Um, we should get individual feedback. Um, we uh, um, want to plan money and bud budget uh, in the planning game um, and also um, they felt that the uh, other students were um, somehow um, very inexperienced or had different experience levels, which they didn't like. So this was a negative comment. Um, it's just an, uh, a, a few of the comments. I didn't put everything in. So the positive comments were the business game ensures good understanding through own application of the learned content. The topic uh, are of great relevance for aspiring software developers. Compactly summarized and playful, some students said. Um, the content is clarified and it's easy to remember or imagine. For beginners, a very good introduction to Scrum, intuitive uh, content, knowledge transfer we had as comments, um, active participation, feedback from the lecturer, which was really, really important for the students. Um, this course led uh, to good communication between members of a company and what is more important to a good communication. So when the result is, when it works analog, we thought, why not make it accessible in a digital version for everybody? So there was the idea of the SIM Scrum Plan prototype. What is it about? Um, the game is about um, to gain basic Scrum skills and practice in, in the practice and environment. Um, the goal is, uh, or the product goal is uh, a menu, and you have also, um, yeah, the way how to create this menu in a restaurant. Uh, it's a fictional simulation scenario, the restaurant. It's a safe space for errors and getting better in Scrum. It's efficient and effective um, Scrum simulator, you could say, like compared to a flight simulator. It's an easy way to train students and test ideas without costs. So if you uh, to, yeah, want to try out ideas, it's very um, yeah, a uh, question of a cost in the, in the company, so it's very easy to simulate it in, easy, simulate it in the uh, university. So it's also a time-lapse scenario which allows to play different roles, so we want to play every role in Scrum. Um, it's a, a practical filling gap between theory and practice at university, and it's embedded in a blending scenario seminar with a facilitator giving feedback and also tips. Yeah, why is it so important? As I told you, we have mixed teams in uh, working together. It's learning without pressure of working in the industry one stop earlier. Thinking about new work, leadership, role playing, improvement. Um, it's developing a diversity sensible concept for it. So uh, we don't only want to show male or female users. So we want to mix everybody uh, with all uh, the possibilities we do have. So it's about diversity, digital accessible gaming. Um, and critical game design. Um, how do we um, spend time on inclusion? Um, by the um, game accessibility guidelines I mentioned already, they have a full list. So why and how you should um, consider them by, uh, if you are a developer. So they have basic, intermediate and advanced levels, which you can start by basic, for example. Yeah? So it's getting yourself in the, uh, on the way to inclusive, uh, inclusive design game design. And also there's the diversity guide. You can also use another one, but um, I, I was um, taking this as a consideration by the Game Verband, the Deutschen Game Branche. And we also have a publication um, already to this. So this is our first demo. Uh, demo. It's an Exto uh, Adobe XD prototype where you can see all the typical Scrum uh, content like uh, appreciate um, priorities, you have um, the, the time, um, you have um, the possibility to get an online conference by Big Blue Button, for example. You have the users, you have the task, you have everything you need. 
it is a prototype. <laughs> I wish I, uh, we, I could say we are further on, but we are working still on this. So the game design, uh, four elements. We have the world of the game is a restaurant, the scenario is the kitchen, we have rules, you have to read the scrum guide, for example. Each player plays uh, each role, um, and um, also, also the roles are uh, scrum master, product owner, and developer. So there are three rounds, but one, one round corresponds to three spins, uh, sprints. Sorry. Yeah, and the character design are the typical Scrum characters and other like stakeholders, um, which are taking a big part in a development. So the second demo is um, made by uh, a student called uh, Maria Ahmed. Um, it's a status quo in process. Um, she says, welcome to everybody. And yeah, it's a lot of text uh, until now, but we want to get it lighter. Uh, we have a quiz where you can find out, and this is the mandatory reading, if they have read the Scrum Guide, which is really important, otherwise they cannot play the game. So we had this quiz to find out, did they really read it? Yeah? And then if you fail at these three questions, um, you will probably have to read it again. Also, we have a game, um, it's called... Uh, um, uh, robotify yourself um, and it's from KF Education where you can find out who is in your team, what are your skills, what are the skills of your team um, and also what is the ideal Scrum Master, we ask the students, um, what is the ideal product owner, what is the ideal de developer and it's really of course not the same answers but we want to discuss it, we want to reflect on it. So also then we have all the vocabulary from Scrum, yeah? what, is, um, uh, what are the most um, important um, yeah, uh, words for Scrum you have to know and we have the, uh, uh, the gaps in the, in the text you have to fill out. So um, this is the status quo and um, uh, the uh, student is um, taking um, the qualitative interviews and testing by five people. So they have to start the game, test your own knowledge, internalize the rules of the game and understanding the learning objects, the design and uh, describe your robot, become a scrum master, complete the closed text, uh, design a user story, reflect on the sprint, and then the final task is the user experience um, questionnaire. Uh, we already talked about it, where you can uh, mark um, how you like the game so far, and this is an early stage of testing the prototype we use. Um, and my conclusion is that um, Sim Scrum Plan, when it's um, further developed, uh, which is uh, planned, um, can simulate multimedia agile project management. Students who become employees will learn cheaper, easier, and sustainable because they can go into the practice at a very early stage. It's efficient, effective, and you get experience to it when you become an employee or in an early stage in the, already in the studies. It's a safe space. We heard a lot of time uh, a game should be a safe space in this uh, conference. But you should also consider uh, the review together, the learning process, but also diversity by showing you have, to, uh, yeah, you have to live it, you have to get the experience, you have to show it's possible uh, diversity-sensible game design for agile project project management, make it accessible by the game uh, accessible guidelines, uh, it will be better for everybody, and you will getting a better understanding and a better working results. So, six seconds left, Sim Scrum, plan, Scrum simulates and saves time. <laughs>